Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites for the month of August. So if you want to see all of the beauty products I've been loving, I share yet another workout brand that I've been loving, and of course my channel of the month, then just keep watching. <laughs> So the month of August, very interesting. <laughs> so I actually started work this month, but it was like the last week and it was just teacher stuff. So like the very last day of August, obviously I started teaching my kids. And then uh, I got married in August, it was a few days ago. No biggie, anyways. <laughs> a little context here I filmed this like a week before I actually got married like now that I'm talking I'm actually married so I was being weird because technically I, had, I was like speaking towards the future on something that you know that hadn't had happened yet so yeah that happened um as far as makeup I really feel like a lot more stuff came out than there did the previous month and I liked a lot of items but I did spend a lot of August really just wearing tried and true products because I was kind of testing out makeup that I wanted to wear for my wedding. So I was constantly testing how uh, products would mesh together, what wore the best. I mean, for me, obviously my wedding makeup is more important than like my hair and anything else. I did just spend a lot of the month wearing my favorite items just to see what would come out on top. You know, some new items that I did try really did stand out to me. So I will get into that. But before that, we're going to do my channel of the month because I've been forgetting to do it these last couple of months and I have a really new and exciting channel to share with you guys so she's actually one of my subscribers who oh my gosh I just love her like I'm kind of obsessed with her she doesn't even know it but I love following her on Instagram I love following her on YouTube and her name is Tiffany so on YouTube her channel is called I am TFNY, I am Tiffany. I mean, I feel like if we live close to each other, we would totally be friends. So she just started YouTube. I think she is so funny. She's very blunt. I guess this is why she subscribed to me. <laughs> uh, we have very similar taste in makeup and I am loving her channel. Her aesthetic, she's so aesthetic-y. Like I have no aesthetic at all. <laughs> she definitely has just this amazing aesthetic and I wish she would edit my videos for me because her videos are so artistic and they're edited so well and it's just so much more entertaining to watch her videos. I don't know, she's just such a creative human being and I wish I was that way. I wish I had the time and talent to edit my videos like that. I want you guys to go subscribe to her channel. She is a brand new channel and I really love her content. I think she definitely deserves some more support and I would love to see her continue to create and grow. She really just brings something fresh to the community that I think you all will really love. So I will put her channel down below. So now let's get into my makeup favorites. I apologize. The eyeshadow I'm wearing in today's video are not any of the eyeshadows that are featured in this video. Odin's eye stuff came out and uh, there's four eyeshadow palettes so I'm slowly trying to do a tutorial with each and my eyes can't handle more than two looks a day. They just can't handle removal before they start to like sting. For the health and safety of my eye, I normally don't like to film my favorites videos wearing makeup that's not in my favorites yet but that's just the way it's got to be today. All right, <laughs> so let's get into it. The first item that I've been loving is a foundation brush. Earlier this month, I actually had a sponsorship with Pat McGrath, and they did gift me some items. And at this point, I literally own just about everything from Pat McGrath. So there are very few items that I actually like could have them send me because I already own them. But one of the items that I didn't own was their foundation brush, and I have told you guys not to buy these brushes. I have because you don't need them. They're synthetic brushes and I just felt like they looked like way overpriced for what they were. But this foundation brush, you guys, is so good and it is literally made for their foundation. The Pat McGrath foundation and this apply so effortless. I noticed no streakings with this brush. I am very picky about foundation brushes. I don't like foundation brushes. I am a sponge girl through and through. But something about this with lightweight foundations is amazing. There's no streaking and this doesn't suck up product into the brush. And I just really love this. It's so good. I like how short the handle is. I feel like I have a lot of control and I really do feel like this blends it out. So this is the one foundation brush that I have fallen head over heels for. Is it a bit overpriced? You know what? Probably. 
but I don't care because I love it. The next item is a foundation. I posted a review of it and I've been wearing it every day since I've gotten it. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skincare. I actually did a comparison side by side between the original CC cream and this just takes the cake. It is so good, you guys. It's so natural on the skin. It's so lightweight. It perfects your skin. It just blends in. Like, it does not look like makeup. This is the perfect everyday foundation for me. It does remind me of the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. It's similar, but this one is just better, in my opinion. Like, I don't know how else to describe it other than this is, for me, my favorite everyday foundation. It is very lightweight. You know, it's not too pricey like some of my luxury foundations. It gets the job done. It makes my skin look really smooth and perfected, and I've just been loving this for every day. Now, you know, it's not going to be an event foundation or anything for me, but just throwing on, I use it with this brush today. My skin looks really nice, and I just find myself constantly grabbing for this. So I've been loving this, wearing it. Ever since I put this on my face, this is the only foundation I've been going for really. It's incredible. The next item is again from Pat McGrath, something else that I got sent to me from the sponsorship, but I already had the shade too. It was just like too deep and too yellow for me. You know, I've been using it to set my face. It was fine. It was a generic powder, but I actually asked for the shade light one. So this is their Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Powder. And while I will say, you know, it's not the most amazing loose powder I've ever tried, I really have been enjoying the color and coverage I get from this. So I mean, it's not necessarily coverage, but it really does brighten up the center of my face without being too bright. It sets everything and it does a decent job at blurring. Like I said, not the most amazing powder in the world, but the color made all of the difference for me as far as my thoughts on this product. Because before, I thought it was like, eh. But now, since this brightens and I usually only really put powder on the center of my face, I've been grabbing for this quite nonstop. It just gets the job done. It makes my skin look very natural. It doesn't look powdery when I apply this. It just sets the makeup. It does what it's supposed to do and I've just been really liking this color a lot. It's been very easy for me to grab for, especially now that it's like summer but I'm actually not as tan as I normally am. I'm kind of using my summer foundations which are a little bit too deep for me so this is a nice way to kind of brighten them up so that's why I've been grabbing for this and really enjoying it. The next item is a bronzer from Scott Barnes. Okay, don't yell at me but I definitely did a video that was not so positive because this is like 50 five dollars for like Maybelline packaging and I know everybody has a, an opinion about this and that's okay but this is my opinion I just his products are made in China which is fine I don't have an issue with that my issue is that it's cheaper to make products in China and this is fifty five dollars Granted, you do get a lot of product, but I just, I, give me half the product for $20, please. Anyway, so I was a little bit irritated with that, but this bronzer is so good, you guys. I've been using it legit every single day that I've been wearing makeup. This is the shade Bondi Beach. So it's annoying. It has an overspray when you first get it. Please get that layer off, and it's just a delicious bronzer, you guys. I'm not as mad anymore because I have three times more product for a really good product still would prefer like half the product half the price but I'm kind of ashamed and eating my own words but this bronzer is so good and I can't put it down and I don't want to talk about it anymore because I was so negative to begin with but like she's so good she's so good okay we gotta move on I'm ashamed okay so I have two eyeshadow palettes I tried some really good eyeshadow palettes this month but um I tried to pick the ones that I just kept grabbing for so the first one is of course the Sydney Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson palette. I just think it is gorgeous. Sydney Grace's formula has been blowing me away. I was really late to jump on the Sydney Grace train, but it really is true. Their quality is phenomenal. I feel like a mainstream brand just can't get it like this. Like It's so creamy, so pigmented, and I love the colors that Mel chose. These are my cup of tea because they're neutral, but then you have fun little pops or you can go a little bit off of neutral, like with a mauve look, or you have have like a fun pop of pastel green. You guys know lilac and just the shades she chose are so attractive to me and I just feel so inclined to grab for this palette. I love it for just like a simple look you have an option for a crazy green look like I did in my original review you have the option. So this is something I've been mindlessly grabbing for and that's how you know it's really good. The other eyeshadow palette that I have been loving this month literally came out of left field you guys. So 
I did a sponsorship with Sephora and I got to pick out some items and this was one of the items that I kind of put in my cart last second. I was like, huh, this is pretty and I'm obsessed with it. So this is the NARS Orgasm X quad. So they have a lighter one, which I want that one now too, but it's a simple quad. I wouldn't necessarily say it's something that anybody needs really like at all, but I love it. I've really been enjoying pinky tones on me lately. And this is just like a go-to warm pinky palette. You get a lot of dimension in here with these two shades. You have just a nice simple matte. It's just an effortless way to create a look. It's true. We all went through that phase where we were like, big palettes are amazing. And then small palettes came back and we were like, huh, this takes so much less thought. So I do like grabbing for smaller quads like these, like on an everyday basis where I don't know what I want to do for a look. Just grab it and my prayers are answered and I've just been enjoying the quality of this. I don't know. It's nothing really special. It's nothing even really special for NARS, but it's just something that I've been mindlessly grabbing for and every time I create a look with it, I'm just like, oh, it's so pretty and pink. Okay, last item is an eyeliner. I'm surprised that this is it. No lips or anything. I guess I've just kind of been digging in my normal collection randomly for lips. Nothing really new and exciting has entered my collection. So that's why I don't have lips, but eyeliner. I have purchased a lot of eyeliner lately and I really, really, really have been loving the uh, one size point made bodacious black 24 hour liquid eyeliner pen. This is so good, you guys. First of all, what I love about it, it's a felt tip, but the felt tip is so long, it really makes it easy to create a wing or just glide it across your lash line. What also makes it easier is the amount of product that comes out. So it's like a very wet liquid liner, not so wet that it's like leaking all over your eyes, but it applies so much that you don't need to press hard or to go over again to build up the product. It goes over glitter really well and I will say I did have like a little bit of smudging or transfer on my hooded eyes when I did do a thicker line so maybe if you have really hooded eyes this is probably not your best bet <laughs> but when I do a thinner line it's fine it stays all day it's super black because of the product that comes out and I've just really been liking it like this is a bomb eyeliner you guys it's currently my favorite liquid eyeliner. Wow, um, okay, I can't believe that's all the makeup products that I have. I feel like I normally have more. But let's get into uh, some fashion lifestyle-ish things. All I've been wearing is workout clothes. Like that's all. The last three months I've been sharing workout clothes and today's no different. So I do want to show you my Fabletics outfit of the month. It is this lounge outfit. Now the pants are way too big on me. I should have gotten an extra small, but I did purchase a small and the length is long on me. I'm only 4'9", but that's okay. I'm all about the lounge wear and I ordered this and I love it. My mom thinks it's very ugly and it kind of is, but it's just so comfy and I don't care because you look a little bit more put together because it's all one color and I wore it for no joke five days straight. Call me gross, but it is what it is. I wasn't leaving my house and I did not take one step outside. Yeah, I really love that. So I did want to share with you the Fabletics outfit that I got and I discovered a new athletic wear brand. I hate when I do this, but I did not say the brand's name once. So it's called Girlfriends Collective. I will have it linked down below. Now it's kind of pricey, but I think it's really cool. So I don't think everything from the brand fits me amazingly. If you're between two sizes, definitely go for the bigger size, okay? I'm in between an extra small and a small. And I got extra small and small from this brand and all of the extra smalls, whew, they were tough to get on and off. So I definitely had to get a small, but they are like a sustainable brand. They're based in Washington, I believe, and all of their clothes and everything is made from recycled materials. So it's like a sustainable, great for the environment kind of brand. And they just come out with some really cool athletic wear. Now, when a launch happens, you gotta jump on it because they sell out super quickly. They only make small stock because it's like something about being bad for the environment, having too much stock. But let me show you some of the items that I have. A lot of them are in the wash now. They're biker shorts, I love, okay? Those are in the wash, but I really like those. And just so you can see, I got like this one shouldered hot orange bra, sports bra, which is really cute. I wish these had pads though. They don't have pads, so that's kind of a, not a good thing for me. But whatever, they're so such cute, like simple designs. Look at this. How cute is this little zippered sports bra? I love it. And then I got this black kind of long line top, super cute. 
okay? I don't know. I think this brand is just super cute. So, <laughs> that is all I have for this month's favorites. I hope you guys had a great August, and I hope we are all in for a better September. Who knows? You know? <laughs> so that's all I have, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.